very special guest to introduce you to. Now, tomorrow, Sunday the 10th of October, is World Homeless Day. And this year marks the 30th anniversary of Barnabas, a Christian homeless charity that supports people sleeping rough and experiencing homelessness. And it helps them find a way off the streets and into a home. At the start of the pandemic, they prepared, cooked and delivered 40,000 meals to people sleeping rough and provided vital mental health support as well as street outreach and an early morning rough sleeper breakfast at their support centre. My next guest is one of their fundraisers. Shane wants this wants to use this homeless day to start another campaign to support Barnabas Charity so that everyone that's homeless can have a home. And those are his words. And people are looked after after the harsh winter that is coming. Shane has in the past raised money through birthday fundraisers and other events. And I should also point out, he is only eight years old and he joins me now. Good morning, Shane. Morning. Good morning. Shane, this is really incredible that you, you know, you're so young and you're doing so many amazing things to raise money. I've been told that you actually started fundraising when you were just four years old. Is that true? Yes, it's true. I started when I was four years old by, like, putting food in the food bank. That's amazing, Shane. And, you know, what kind of things have you been doing over the years? Well, I've been raising lots of money for them, um, and once I raised um, a lot of money by um, using the birthday money, I might have used it by present, and um, I've got to pay you just giving. Wow, that's incredible. And what a selfless thing to do, to sacrifice your presence um, just so that you could do this, you know, to help other people. And I believe you've also got your little brother involved too now, I hear? Yeah, he's involved as well. That's amazing. Is he enjoying it as much as you are? Yeah, I think so. Why is raising money for, for Barnabas, Shane, so important to you? Um, so it's really important to me um, that people have a home, everybody has a home, and they don't live on the streets. Absolutely. And it seems such a simple thing, doesn't it? And, um, you know, it's great that we've got charities like this that are out there to help people. Do you find it, is it hard to give up your birthday presents, though, for, you know, on things like this? Um, well, sometimes it is. But um, when you think that um, it's going to go through like, a good cause, then it's easier. Wow, what a legend you are. And I also hear, do you love chocolate, Shane? Is, is mm. chocolate something you love? Yeah. It's, one, it's good, isn't it? Uh, but I hear you've even given up chocolate to help. Mm. Yeah. What I'm have you been doing? Chocolate. Well, I was like, giving up chocolate to raise money for um, the homeless people. And you, so you're going to give it up for how long are you going to give it up for? Well, I think it might be like two weeks or something or a month. Lovely. And do you think after once you've uh, once you've given it up for a bit and raised a, a nice sum of money for, for Barnabas, are you then going to have a bit of a chocolate party? Um, maybe. <laughs> what is it so much that, you know, that you like about your own home, Shane? You know, what is it about being in a home that's so important? Um, well, you have food to eat, you have water to drink, you have, like, loads of important things that you need to live. And it's just that kind of, you know, you've got it all there in your own home and that's what you want for other people, isn't it? Yeah. How amazing. What other things do you like doing, Shane? Do you like uh, football or is this, you know, does this take up a lot of your life, all this fundraising? Um, well, it takes up about a quarter. A quarter? So you leave time for school and, and some some activities for yourself? Um, yeah, and I do swimming on um, football, and I like climbing trees as well. Ooh, do you know what? I wish I wish I was still able to climb a tree. Uh, it was one of those things that I used to love as well, Shane, but I've not been able to do that for a very long time now that I'm a bit old. Uh, Shane, you're also with your dad, Roger. How long has he been involved in charity work? Um, he's not really been involved for long. So it's mainly been you. You've, have you been leading the pack then at home? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, it sounds like you're doing so much already, and the charity are obviously very grateful for all the hard work that you do. Shane, what do you want more people to do and to think about in the future? 
Um, so I would like them, if they can, to, like, start saving money to give to the homeless, maybe get some food to put in the food banks. Um, and, like, this morning um, when I went to swimming, I put some food in the Warrington Food Bank and maybe other people could do that too. Uh, you know what that's great advice because you only just need to do a little bit every day don't you and then it really makes a difference that's great advice and you know are you trying to are you kind of encouraging your family to do more like fundraising and to do more things like this as well and your friends yeah, yeah a bit amazing shane it sounds like you do such an incredible job and i cannot wait to see all the, the the things that come ahead in your future and all the help that you give so thank you for doing all that you do and inspiring us all to maybe do that little step forward and uh, you know donate a little bit to a food bank raise a bit of money um is a really great thing what's uh, what's next do you think you're going to give up chocolates what other things have you got planned or are you still having to think about it um, we're still having to think about it. You're still having to think. Well, you make sure you let us know and we'll be sure to catch up with you again. Um, Thank you, Shane. Have a great Saturday. Have you got anything exciting planned for your day? Um, going to a football club. Oh, very fun. Well, enjoy and uh, have a good Saturday afternoon. And thank you so much for all the hard work that you do. And thank you for joining me this morning. You're welcome. That was the lovely Shane, who is just eight years old, can I remind you, and he is already making a difference, raising money for Barnabas Charity, helping the homeless, donating to food banks. Just think of all the people that he's managed to help in just the short four years that he's been fundraising and, you know, at such a young age as well. What an absolute legend. It's definitely inspired me to make a lot more of an effort um, because, you know, Shane says it's just a little thing and he does it regularly. And look at that, what a difference it makes.